Hi, it's Mary Lou Dingman, and I am here to bring you tip number six, top 10 agent open house mistakes. So a little bit about me first. I was licensed in 2001, so I have been a full-time active real estate agent. I was in new home sales. I was a buyer specialist, and I have been a full-time real estate business and productivity coach with a specialty in open houses. So I have been helping agents build their real estate business by a strong foundation. And I've been doing that full time for the past four years. All right. So to recap, number one, top 10 agent open house mistakes, not actively lead generating for open houses. Don't just slap a post up on your firm's uh, enter office Facebook page, say, hey, I'm looking for open houses. You need to reach out to listing agents that have those good and juicy listings and make sure you become their go-to agent to hold their open houses. Number two, not incorporating virtual open houses. If you're in an area where you can do standalone open houses, by all means, do them. However, don't underestimate the power of a virtual open house. They should be combined with an in-person open house, and you can even do standalone virtual open houses. Not stepping in your game by knocking on neighbors' doors, a minimum of 25 neighbors. Do you know that if you did one open house a weekend um, for most of the year and you knocked on 25 doors, that 1,000 more people would know who you are by the end of that year just because you had invited them to your open house. Those numbers matter. Not asking for the appointment at the open house. I would encourage you to go back and find the video specifically focusing on that point because it is the one that I am the most passionate about. Don't just be passive and have people sign in and add them to your database. You need to be engaging, asking questions and asking for the appointment. Why the heck not? They're standing right in front of you. Isn't that the best opportunity to get an appointment? Yes. Trust me, it works. Not practicing your scripts. What are you going to say? I mean, if you're going to develop rapport with people and you're going to help them work through that, you need to be prepared for the things that they're going to say. And the things that I have listed here are very common. We just started looking. We're not ready yet. We're not moving until next year. We've just got an idea of what's out there. Or we've got a cousin that's in real estate. What do you say to all those things? Well, you need to have scripts and you need to be prepared with the answer. All right, tip number six is not arriving at least 30 minutes early. All right, if you're doing an open house in person from 12 to 3, you should always be incorporating a neighborhood sneak peek ahead of that. That's a great way to attract sellers to your open house. So if you're doing an open house from 12 to 3, you invite the neighbors um, from 11.30 to 12. That means you need to be there 30 minutes earlier than that. The worst thing you can do is pull up to an open house on two wheels and you don't have any signage out. You don't have any pinwheels or balloons. You don't have lights on. You're not calm. You're stressed. And there's three or four couples waiting at the door to get into the open house. This is part of your open house prep. This is actually part of the open house is opening early. You need to make sure that you are ready. You need to have your sign-in app locked and loaded if you want to use that. Some people during this are putting a QR code on the door and having agents or, excuse me, visitors to the open house take a picture of it um, and then do the QR co code and then they're signing up. So voila, they're in your database. I'm very old school. I still like to do it the old way because I like to keep notes about people. So some of the only things I'll have laying out is an information open house notebook and also three or four clipboards with sign-in sheets and pens available for everybody. Make sure you set the stage and that it is a warm, welcoming environment. The more comfortable people are when they walk in and the less stressed you are because you got there early, the more likely that you're gonna be able to build rapport with them and make them comfortable ask them some questions, and then ask for the appointment. All right, make sure you get there early. Have a great day, and I hope this tip was helpful.
Thanks.